Next one I have is Kashmir. This is a good one. We like this one. Now, I have put the top drop D. So this is in drop D tuning. If we're going to play this note here, the open E string, if you miss out that note, you do not need to drop D because you're not playing that string. The song is actually in dadgad, which means D, A, D, G, A, D tuning. We do not need to tune anything else. We do not need to change our B string to an A or our high E to an E because we don't play those strings. We're just going to play the A string and the G string. But if you want to put in this low E, it has to be a drop D. Now, if you don't know what a drop D means, our E string is being dropped to a D note. Easy way of doing that is with a tuner. Another way of doing that is playing your open D string and your E string together and then dropping your E string down. If you get Avalon, you're well away. So there's our open, uh, uh, sorry, there's our drop D. So you just wanna make sure your E string is a drop D, so you're dropping it down from an E to a D note. Tuner is obviously easy way of doing that. If you're not happy with dropping your string down, just don't play that note. Just take out the open E string, doesn't matter. We're just gonna play those other notes in the tab. So I'm gonna keep it in drop D just so I can demonstrate it. And we've got a bit of a stretch here, guys. So straight away, if you are a low level student, we could just play the notes on the G string. If you look at the notes on the A string, they don't change. It's what we call drone notes. It's a note which continues throughout the whole song that doesn't change. So basically, we just drop it out. We don't really need it. So that A string just keeps getting played. So the main kind of melody, I suppose, is on that G string. So, low level students are thinking, this is stretchy. Well, we'll be thinking that in a minute when we realize how stretchy it is. You could just do the notes on the G string. Don't worry about trying to put in the A string as well. But we are, I'm gonna approach it obviously as the full riff, but don't worry about what's been played on the A string, just do the G string. Because this is pretty stretchy. So straight away we're playing fifth fret on the A string, second fret on the G string. So that's quite stretchy. You may be able to do a finger one and finger three stretch. I'd probably suggest a four finger on the A string, the first finger on the G string stretch. So that's our first string. He's doing that for a couple of beats. And then we go to third fret on the G string, just slide up our first finger. Then he goes to fourth fret on the G string, second finger, and then you go down. Then he goes to fifth fret. Now you could just put our third finger in the G string, and we could swap fingers if that's a little bit squeezing. Or maybe second, third in the fifth fret. However, what feels comfortable for you guys, really. But those are the main shapes. So we've got our big stretch, 5-2, five, 5-3. Two, five, so again, just changing the G string note. 5-4 five, and 5-5. Five, five. That's it. Again, I've missed out everything else. Just talk about the kind of finger shapes for me. So make sure we're happy moving that shape up. And we're cool with that. <clears throat> then put the timing on top. He's got his one E and da da da. Ba, ba, ba. Now, problem here is there is a string in between the two notes we want to play. So how we're gonna fix that is we wanna to touch that string with either the top of our first finger or the underside of finger four. So it just mutes it out. So as you strum those three strings, we only hear the two we want to hear. We've muted the one in between. Now there will be a slight sound there, but the other note should overpower it. And it will just sound more rhythmic than anything else. So just if you haven't done these kind of shapes before, so kind of an octave shape maybe, or this kind of more inverted shape. Then that might feel a bit weird, but we're gonna try and miss out, ah, or not sound, sorry, that D string, not get it open, you don't want that sound. So for some it'll sound okay, but it might start to sound a bit weird. So, that's the plan. And we're gonna strum it down, up, down, down, up, down. Open E string. two and a three and and then we go to the third fret on the g string same kind of rhythm one and two and a three and same thing one and two and a three and one and two and a three and so down up down stop down up down open down up down stop down up down open so 
that's the idea there. Again, if anyone's struggling with the stretches, just do the note on the G string. Just second fret. We'll still get the right sound. It just won't sound so obviously full as using the other string as well. So one more time, we've got that down, up, down, down, up, down, open. Slide up to fret three. Down, up, down, down, up, down, open. Now we start to fret four. Down, up, down, down, up, down, open. And then fret five, down, up, down, down, up, down, open. So you can see the rhythm just keeps repeating now. One and two and a three, four. One and two and a three, bam. Easy as that. So. I said four minute ago, it's actually the and for the zero. So one and two and a three and. Da da da, da da da, open. That's the room we want to be uh, playing, and that just goes on every single one of those shapes we talked about earlier. Fret two, fret three, fret four, five. So one and two and a three and four and a three and four. That's the first line. Second line. Very similar, but he starts with five seven. So your fifth fret on the E A string, sorry, it's seventh fret on the G string. So that you know an octave shape now, if you know that one. Same rhythm. So he's just going down, up, down, then he goes back to five and two. So that five and seven kind of just steals the first beat, if you like. Where he normally would play five and two, he's now playing five and seven. Then he goes back to five and two, but only for, well, one beat really. So you've got two eighth notes, uh, and then the eighth notes, two quarter notes. Wake up, two sixteenth notes, two uh, one eighth note. And then we're back to our third fret, and then it just moves up like normal. So it's just this first beat where he does five, seven. So it's one and back to five and two. Okay, so just watch it out for that one on the second line. So five, seven. Back to five two. And that's it. Then that second line goes around four times. So hopefully not too mean. Once you get the really happy with the stretching. It's not too bad. That's what we're after. Does sound pretty cool. Um, remember just that drop D to be careful of there. And remember the rhythm just keeps going around. So. Second line. 